Hey, what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and the OnePlus 60 is finally out. It's official, all the leaks were true and we pretty much knew about the phone before it actually came out, like basically everything from the box packaging and things like that. In this video, let's compare the new OnePlus 60 to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This is not to prove that one phone is better than the other. How much more are you getting when you spend the extra money on the Galaxy Note 9 compared to the OnePlus 60? So this is OnePlus 60 versus Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So let's get started. Now starting off with displays, on the OnePlus 60 you have a 6.4 inch AMOLED display that is made by Samsung again. So 402 ppi, 2340 into 1080 resolution and that water droplet notch. So the screen to body ratio on this phone is better than the Galaxy Note 9 and it's a really good display. Again it's a Samsung made panel so you can expect all the you know goodies like good brightness, good colors, contrast, viewing angles, you know deep blacks and things like that. And on the Galaxy Note 9 you have a 6.4 inch 2960 into 1440 display. Again that is super AMOLED with a ppi of 514. Galaxy Note 9 clearly has the better display here and it wins in the display department not only against the OnePlus 60 but basically every phone on the market. Samsung's flagships usually have the best display on the market and the Galaxy Note 9 is no different. Now talking about the specs that are powering those displays pretty similar basically the same thing apart from the battery capacity so the Snapdragon 845 in terms of CPU Adreno 630 GPU 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM in terms of storage you have 128 or 256 gigabytes on the OnePlus 60 no storage expansion and on the Galaxy Note 9 you have 128 or 512 gigabytes of freaking internal storage and you also have, you know, storage expansion, so you can go up to one terabyte. In terms of battery capacity, you have a 4,000 mAh massive battery on the Galaxy Note 9, 3,700 mAh upgraded battery, which is, you know, welcomed on the OnePlus 60. So yeah, in terms of specs, they're pretty head to head, and it all comes down to the software that'll decide which will perform better. And on the Galaxy Note 9, you have Android 8.1 Oreo, and on the OnePlus 60, you have Android 9.0 Pi, which is the latest, with Oxygen OS. And Oxygen OS is pretty much close to stock Android. There's not much done to it. You know, it's not a lot different and it is very smooth. It's buttery smooth and it stays like that for a long time. Performance does not degrade that badly on the OnePlus phones, but on the Galaxy Note 9, you have Android 8.1 Oreo with Samsung Experience UX, which kind of lags after, you know, about one year or 1.5 year of usage. So in terms of software experience, I'll give it to the, you know, OnePlus 60. Now talking about the cameras where the specs will be used, on the OnePlus 60, you have a 16 megapixel front camera and on the back, you have 16 plus 20 megapixel dual camera setup. And this is the same camera setup carried forward from the OnePlus 6 from last year and this time around the new feature is night shot so that allows you to take better low light photos and they had uploaded some samples that is to you know check out when the phone actually comes out and on the galaxy note 9 you have a 12 plus 12 megapixel setup one with the dual aperture technology one telephoto with f2.4 aperture 4k 60 fps slow motion video at 960 fps and an 8 megapixel front camera and the galaxy note 9 you know camera is a tested proven camera it is in the top three and the OnePlus 60 might not be able to compete. You know, that is to check out with the camera samples. But even beforehand, I can tell the Galaxy Note 9 camera will be the OnePlus 60. OnePlus has to cut corners somewhere and camera might be one place. Talking about the extras on the OnePlus 60, you have that water droplet notch. You don't have headphone jack. Neither do you have the, you know, fingerprint scanner on the back. You have it in the display. So it's an optical sensor. It's an in-display fingerprint scanner on the OnePlus 60. And water resistance is there and not there. Like there's no rating. On the Galaxy Note 9, you have the S Pen, which is a whole new, you know, feature set in itself. It's a stylus, so if you like using one, you have to spend the extra money. You have IP68 water resistance. This is the better looking phone as well. Your wireless charging, your fast charging. And yeah, that's also there on the OnePlus 60. You have dash charge on the OnePlus 60, which is kind of the fastest charging. Galaxy Note 9, you have the headphone jack, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, and things like that. The final conclusion to buy one phone over the other comes down on the pricing. Note 9 starts at $999 in the US and goes up to $1249. And the OnePlus 60 will start at around $630 and will go up to $750 for the maxed out variant that is, you know, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 GB storage in the mirror black color. You're spending way less on the OnePlus 60 and getting a lot of more value on that. So on the extra features that are available on the Galaxy Note 9, you have to spend the extra money. But in my opinion, want to save some money and still get, you know, similar experience or even better in some cases, like, you know, in software and things like that, go ahead and buy the OnePlus 60. It's just the best value for money phone out there. Still, you know, period, it is giving you really good value. And I hope this video helped you out, guys, if this comparison saved you some money. And if it helped you decide which phone to buy, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification thingy so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.